Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sam Rajawi. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, extended deepest thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa following the issuance of the Royal Directive appointing him as Board of Directors, Chairman of the oil and gas holding company Noga Holding. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed that the precious royal trust bestowed upon him will motivate him to spare no effort in order to implement His Majesty the King's vision on increasing Bahrain's investments in the oil and gas sector, as well as on further developing the sector in accordance with the modern and scientific approach that copes with the global developments in this field. His Highness Sheikh Nasser indicated that many pioneering projects have been implemented to develop investments and infrastructure of the oil and gas sector, as well as to increase the sector's role in serving the national economy. Stressing keenness to maintain the landmark oil and gas achievements and to optimize them in accordance with the royal vision. His Highness Sheikh Nasser pledged to carry on implementing His Majesty the King's vision on developing the oil and gas sector so as to continue to contribute to achieving the economic vision for Bahrain 2030. And the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed delight at the success of his horse Namus in winning the first place of the 1,600 meter race of the Usher Cup held today for three year old horses at Sandown Park Race Course. His Highness Sheikh Nasser pointed out that the victory adds the numerous successes achieved by Bahrain recently and affirms the distinguished status enjoyed by the equestrian sport in the kingdom thanks to the unwavering support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser lauded the tremendous efforts exerted by jockey Ben Curtis and trainer Mark Johnston over the past period to prepare the horse Namus for the race, wishing them every success. The sessions of the Council of Ambassadors program organized by Mohammed bin Marak Al Khalifa Academy for Diplomatic Studies continue through visual communication technology for employees at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and with the participation of a number of ambassadors of brotherly and friendly countries accredited to the Kingdom of Bahrain and ambassadors of the Kingdom of Bahrain abroad. In this regard, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Azayani, affirmed that Bahraini diplomacy puts in mind basic pillars which are peace, sustainable development and human rights, as well as dialogue between nations and people has always been the way to achieve these diplomatic goals, affirming that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs seeks, through these councils, to consolidate the link and extend the bridge of understanding between members of diplomatic missions in the Kingdom of Bahrain and employees at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. For her part, the Executive Director of the Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa Academy for Diplomatic Studies, Dr. Sheikha Munira bint Khalifa Al Khalifa, emphasized the intensification of the Academy's efforts to enrich the knowledge aspects through programs targeting the young diplomat category in particular. The Minister of Labor and Social Development, Chairman of the Labor Market Regulatory Authority, Jamil Hmedan, stressed the importance of strengthening cooperation and integration between the Ministry and the Labor Market Regulatory Authority, as well as the partners from the Bahrain team and other government agencies. During his meeting with the CEO of the Labor Market Regulatory Authority, Jamal Al Alawi, the Minister emphasized the necessity of strengthening partnership, consultation, and cooperation with production parties and their representatives which has been the practice of the authority since inception, with various spectrums in all major decisions. Hmeidan underlined the work program of the Labor Market Regulatory Authority, LMRA, and the priorities that are being implemented at the current stage in a way that contributes to supporting the stability and balance of the labor market and creating flexible solutions that contribute to enhancing the competitiveness and capabilities of the labor market. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Isam bin Abdullah Khalaf, invited people of the community to participate in the awareness campaigns carried out by the municipalities during the blessed holy month of Ramadan. The Minister pointed out that these campaigns come within the framework of the Ministry's plan to implement an integrated system that guarantees the participation of all components 
of society and preserving the environment. The minister emphasized that the ministry is continuing its efforts aimed at preserving the environment, increasing the green area and implementing its environmental obligations. He added that the ministry has developed a strategy to increase forestation, greening and tree densification in the Kingdom of Bahrain and has launched a number of initiatives to achieve the goals of the strategy, which are a number of projects that provide a green environment and take care of afforestation of public and internal streets to preserve the aesthetics and environmental view as part of its priorities in achieving sustainable development in Bahrain. The Minister of Housing, Basar bin Yaqub Al Hamar, announced the size of the housing financing during the first quarter of 2021, amounting to more than 8 million Bahraini dinars, which benefited more than 160 citizens. He emphasized that these services come within the framework of the Ministry's plan to diversify options for citizens by facilitating access to housing funds to provide adequate housing, which is in line with the visions of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa regarding the sustainability and acceleration of the provision of adequate housing for eligible citizens, in line with housing obligations contained in the government program. The Minister of Housing underlined that the Ministry provided 65 purchase of financing services, 85 building financing services and 10 repair financing services. He stressed that the Minister of Housing aims to develop financing and housing solutions that provide various and immediate options for the Bahraini citizens who benefit from housing services as the financing services are based on a simplified system, especially with regard to the ease of payment process that takes into account the income of every individual separately. He also noted that the purchase or construction financing the highest of which reaches 60,000 Bahraini dinars, is similar to a housing entitlement, while the Mazaya program, which performs the same service as housing entitlement, is a separate housing service, represented in the support provided by the Ministry by obtaining bank financing of up to 81,000 Bahraini dinars, and the applicant pays only 25% of his monthly income. The government, through the Ministry, is committed to providing government financial support, that covers the remaining value of the monthly installment with the participating banks. Within the framework of the Ministry of Information Affairs plan to continue offering and presenting television and radio programs during the holy month of Ramadan that are commensurate with the general taste of the Bahraini and Arab viewers, the Ministry implemented and produced a variety of television and radio programs despite the current exceptional circumstances. The Ministry, in cooperation with the private sector, implemented a variety of television and radio programs that are shown and presented during the month of Ramadan, while adhering to the precautionary and preventative measures according to the guidelines of the national team to ensure the safety of all employees and those in charge of the programs. The Minister of Information Affairs, Mr. Ali bin Muhammad al-Rumehi, visited the filming site for the Asaria program in the heritage village of the Ministry in Ras Hayyan where he was briefed on the progress of the program, expressing appreciation for the support received from the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work and youth affairs. Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He also visited the team of the Tahaddi Al Mala program and praised their efforts to make this innovative sports program that hosts athletes, media professionals, and those interested in sport and friendly competitions that enhance sports culture and information. The Minister of Information Affairs also visited the radio department where he met with the employees in charge of the radio programs Latri and Zahari Ramadan and Musabakat with Baba Faiz which are broadcast directly to the listeners via the Bahrain Radio Arabic service. He expressed his sincere thanks and appreciation to the Popular Heritage Sports Committee of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and the National Plan to promote and consolidate the values of citizenship. He also thanked Patelco Company, Ibrahim Khalil Kano Company, STC Bahrain, Kuwait Finance House and the Four Seasons Hotel Bahrain and Bahrain Kuwait Insurance Company, Al Hawaj Group for participating as companies in supporting of such programs. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 646,919 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, 
while 509,887 had taken the second dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. And the Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 10,504 with 1,152 recoveries and 1,053 registered new cases. 444 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 561 are contacts of active cases, and 48 are travel-related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.